Satan's people are taking over America with their evil ways of wickedness and I need you to defend yourself. Enough is enough. Dylan Roof walked into a pagan church like this killing nine black people. It's time for you to wake up my son. This is not a game. If you don't wake up, you're done. You need to go to a licensed gun shop and buy you a gun the legal way. Your record is clean and then you need to go to the gun range and learn how to shoot. Get ready for war. Satan's people don't care about your walk with God. They have sold their souls to the devil. I want you to wake up. You have every right to protect yourself and your family. My bold followers will shoot back in the name of God. It's time for self-defense in wicked America. This is enough. You can't keep killing innocent people. I am done. No one is safe anymore. No one. You can live. Hear me clearly when I say this. You can live in a nice, beautiful area. And still get attacked. Still get robbed. Still get your home broken into. Still get shot and killed. Nobody is safe no more. Nobody. I don't care who you are. Nobody is safe no more, man. We are really in the wicked last days and it's time for God's people to start walking in self-defense and it's time for God's people to stop playing games with Satan's people. That's off top. Enough is enough, man. Enough is enough. And y'all, I'm doing this video and, and in this message because I am so tired. And y'all, I'm, I'm being honest. I'm speaking from my heart. I am so tired of, of turning on the news and, and, and I'm looking at people get robbed for no reason. I'm looking at old people get robbed. I'm looking at ladies get robbed. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm sitting back looking at the TV like, who do Satan's people really think they are? I'm serious. I'm sitting back looking at the TV saying to myself, who do Satan's people really think they are? Enough is enough. I've seen enough, y'all. I'm here to tell y'all, T. Ariel is strapped. I'm letting it be known to all of the haters, to all of the evil stalkers, T. Ariel is strapped. I'm not playing around with Satan's people no longer. I'm tired of seeing Satan's people rob old women. I'm tired of seeing Satan's people break in people's houses and take everything they work hard for. I'm tired of seeing Satan's people just try to steal your car, break in your car, steal your radio, steal your vehicle. I'm done. I was looking at the news the other day and a lady got robbed and this stuff was so sad. She basically was just going to her car, getting ready to go to work. Some robbers attacked her, punched her in the back of the head, and robbed the woman, took her purse, and ran. When I saw that to myself, I said, man, Satan's people are really getting beside themselves. And y'all, it's time. Hear me clearly. It's time for Satan's people to catch a bullet. It's time for Satan's people to catch a bullet. I'm serious. And, and I'm letting it be known. You run up on Tiario with that nonsense. By law, I can protect myself. And I can protect my family and I can protect my son. You run up on me with that stuff, you're getting shot. Point blank period, you are getting shot. You're getting shot. Point blank period. Now for all of you haters out there and people who hate my guts, you want to go to war? Let's go to war now. Let's go to war now. You want to go to war? Let's go to war now. I guarantee you are not going to win. Okay, to how you're strapping, I ain't playing around. Now, first thing first, man, I, I got to talk about this right quick. Okay, I got to talk about this right quick. Okay, because a lot of you all who are listening to this, you got to go get licensed for a gun. You got to go get licensed for a gun. Okay, I'm going to talk about that because you have to get licensed for a gun. That's right. It's called CHL, Concealed Handgun License. You got to get licensed for a gun. And, 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 and you got to do it the right way, okay? Because let me tell you this, okay? For all of you all who are listening to this, do not go and buy a gun off the street. Do not. Hear me clearly because I'm telling y'all some real truthful information because you have to do You got to understand. If you're going to protect yourself, you got to protect yourself the right way by law. Because I don't want to see any of y'all go to jail for something stupid. So I'm telling you the truth. Take notes. You have to protect yourself the right way by the law. By law... You can 
You know what I'm saying? Protect your family, protect your home, protect your property by law. But you got to do it the right way. Here we go. Different states. Now, now, now listen to me carefully. Different states require different laws. Okay? Different states require different laws. So you have to go through um, the Department of Public Safety in your state. Go online and look at the, the um, 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 and look up the Department of Public Safety in your state, okay? And do your homework and your research on your handgun license, okay? Some of you all may already have a handgun license and some of you don't, okay? But do your homework on it and you have to give them everything that they require. Some states may charge 170 bucks. Some states may charge 80, 90. D d different states have different laws and rules and regulations. I got to tell y'all this, okay? If you are a convicted felon, you cannot get a gun. You can't get it. You can't get it. If you are a convicted felon and you've been to prison and all this crap you got going on, you cannot get a handgun license. You cannot get it. They're not letting you get it. Now, listen to me carefully. For the rest of you all who have never been to jail and you have a clean record, stay your ass out of trouble. Stay your ass out of trouble. Don't be hanging around these clowns. Don't be hanging around these cursed people. Because if you go to prison for something stupid and you get in a bunch of trouble, you will not be able to purchase a gun to protect your home and protect your family. Stay your ass out of trouble. Okay? Seriously. Another thing too, if you got a bunch of stuff going on, like loans and child support and uh, um, taxes and stuff, you owe money, you can't even get a gun. They ain't going to let you get it. They are not going to let you get it. You know what I'm saying? You got to you gotta have a clean record. Everything got to be clean. Everything got to be straight. If your life have a bunch of crap going on, nine times out of ten, you will not be able to get a handgun license. Now, listen to me carefully. Do not go and buy a gun off the street. Listen to me carefully. Do not go and buy a gun off the street. Because if you buy a gun off the street and, and it's not registered, you are looking at 7 to 10 years in prison. That's the law. If the police catch you with an unregistered gun, you are looking at 7 to 10 years in jail. Okay? You have to do it the right way. You have to go to a gun shop. Okay? You have to go to a gun shop that's licensed to sell guns in your state and, and 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 what you're going to fill out you're going to fill out a form and you're going to fill out an application okay and they will run your background check okay and once they run your background check and everything come back clean and straight by law you can buy you a gun to protect your home and to protect your property and to protect yourself people who are listening to this please do it the right way Please do it the right way. Stop being like these stupid ass niggas from the street walking around with a bunch of guns on them and all of the guns are not registered. These dumb niggas going to get caught and they're going to go to jail for 7 or 10 years. Trust me on this, man. That's against the law. And you don't want all that trouble on your back. Do it the right way. And I feel bad for people who have already been to jail because they can't even go get um, registered and, and get a gun to protect themselves. This is why you got to stay out of trouble. This is why y'all got to just, just live right, live in order, and stay out of trouble because you get good benefits when you stay out of trouble. See what I'm saying? Me personally, y'all, Tiara, you personally, I've never been to jail. No, I have never been to jail. My record is clean. Everything is clean in my name. Everything is clean. So by law, Tiara, you can go to the gun store and buy a gun. See what I'm saying? And this is why y'all see me strapped. I'm not playing around, man, because it's, 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 it's enough. I have had enough of seeing Satan's people do people dirty. That's enough. That's enough, man. I'm tired of seeing Satan's people hate on each other. Uh, and, and, and then when they hate on you, they want to try to bully you and rob you. Let me tell you something. By law, let me tell you something. By law, if somebody is trying to bully you and punk you around and rob you and beat you up, you can shoot them. You can shoot them. For all of you all who are listening to this, if you are, uh, hear, hear, um, hear me clearly. For all of you all who are listening to this, if you are a bully, you gonna mess around and catch a bullet. That's right. Keep bullying people for no reason. Keep bullying kids in school. Keep bullying grown adults. You are gonna mess around and catch a bullet in your ass, man. By law, they can shoot you. And y'all, the state of Texas. I, I ain't gonna lie. I like the state of Texas because the state of Texas got a law. That um, 
Governor Rick Perry signed this law over um this bill over I think in 2007. It's called a stand your ground law. It's called a stand your ground law. The Castle Doctrine stand your ground law in the state of Texas to whereas if somebody trying to rob you and kill you by law, you can kill them. That's the law in Texas, man. That's the law in Texas. And I ain't gonna lie, man. I love the Texas laws when they come to guns because now nah, because because hear me clearly y'all hear, 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 hear me clearly now they about to sign off another bill to where college students who are in the state of Texas can carry their handgun license in the school they can go in the building with their gun as long as they got their license they can carry their concealed handgun in the school in the colleges in Texas they are getting ready to pass that law I love the state of Texas laws when they come to guns because they give you every right to protect yourself and defend yourself because people are crazy out here in these streets. Let's keep it real, man. Y'all, let me tell y'all something right quick. Let me talk to y'all, man, because I'm talking to y'all from the heart and this is real, man. And this is common sense. Listen to me carefully. God ain't gonna protect all y'all. God ain't protecting everybody. See, I don't know, what do you mean? Take notes and write this down. God is not protecting everybody. You better wake up and smell a coffee. You want me to do? And do, do you want me to repeat that? God is not protecting everybody. If God was protecting everybody, why why so many people get robbed? Why so many people get their homes broken into? Why so many people get shot for no reason? God is not protecting everybody. I don't care who you are. You need to listen to this. Get your mind out the gutter. Get your mind out of Christianity. Get your mind out of religion. Put the Bible down for a minute and walk in common sense. You people have been following preachers for so long. You're stupid. You are stupid now. God is not protecting everybody. Stop listening to preachers. If God was protecting everybody, why innocent women get robbed? Coming home from work, she get robbed. She gets shot for no reason. While old folks get their homes broken into for no reason. They ain't doing nobody nothing. Why innocent children get shot. Do y'all hear what I'm saying to you? God is not protecting everybody. Wake up. And now, and now, here, and here it is. And now you got police killing folk now. So you really got to get strapped. Because now you got the cops who will shoot you. Trayvon Martin, sacrifice. Michael Brown was another one. Cops ain't even playing no more, man, with people. Y'all better wake up, man. Police ain't playing no more. George Zimmerman took Trayvon Martin out. He wasn't playing with Trayvon, took him out. They out there fighting in the um, apartment complex. Zimmerman took him out. Zimmerman wasn't playing with that boy. Look at the cop who shot Michael Brown. That cop wasn't playing with Michael Brown. Took Michael Brown down, man. This is real facts. God ain't protecting everybody no more. Y'all got to wake up down here, man. We are in the wicked last days. I'm serious. And y'all already know what's coming next. But I'm going to tell y'all, since all of you dummies out there who think everything is a joke and you won't keep running the church, keep running the church. Because the church is a next. Man, these people about to start walking up in the church is shooting. This stuff is already prophesied. <laughs> y'all better, y'all better wake up. You want me to repeat that? I'm gonna repeat it. God already showed it to Tiario. I'm just telling y'all before it go down. The church is about to start getting hit like never before. Terrorists and psychopath, demon possessed killers are about to start walking in the church and just shooting up everybody. That's how demon possessed people are down here, man. They about to start walking up in the churches, just blasting away. So it's time to get strapped, people, and it's time to defend yourself, and it's time to protect yourself by law the right way, man. Do y'all homework on it, because all y'all live in different states and cities and stuff like that, and different states and cities come with different rules and regulations. Now, if you're a person out there to wear ass, you know what I'm saying, you may not like guns. All right, cool, but you still need to be packing something. You know what I'm saying? Go get you some strong mates or something like that. Carry something. Or I got to tell y'all something new that they got out too. Um, um, they call the taser guns. They got taser guns now. They look like real guns, but they taser guns. And that can take somebody down too, man. Get you something. If you are a person to wear ass, let's say you don't want to fool with a real gun with bullets, you don't have to. You can get your taser gun. You can get you a taser gun. You can get you a mace gun. You can get you... Man, they got all kind of stuff you can get to protect yourselves, man. They got all kind of stuff. You can get you the, um, the taser stunt gun. 
They got taser stunt guns that look like cell phones, man. But they taser guns. You can get all that stuff, man. Let me tell y'all something right quick. Listen to me carefully, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all what's going on in the world right now. Right now, everybody's spending their money on smartphones. Everybody's spending their money on mobile phones. Y'all know it's true. Everybody is going broke, spending all their money on these mobile phones. $300, $400, $500 for their mobile phones. You could have brought you a gun with that. I don't think y'all hear me, man. I don't think y'all hear Tiario. See, see, let me tell y'all something. This is how the world gets y'all. Look at what's going on, y'all. Have y'all noticed something about the world and what the media doing to y'all? Every time you turn on the TV, you see a commercial with a T-Mobile phone on it, right? They promoting these T-Mobile phones like it's crazy. But they not telling y'all to defend yourselves and go get you a gun. See what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying to you? They already got y'all. All y'all taking y'all selfie pictures with y'all mobile phones and y'all dumbasses done probably pay four to five hundred dollars for them phones. You could have went and got you a gun for that. You can get you a pistol for two hundred dollars. The right way, the right legal way. You could get you a pistol for two hundred dollars to protect yourself. Let me tell you something, man. Let me tell y'all something out there. You can't protect yourself with, with um, a, a T-Mobile phone. You can't protect yourself with that. A robber run up on you, you dead. A robber run up on you, he's snatching your purse. Here it is. If you come home and a robber is in your home, what you gonna do? Pull out your phone? <laughs> what you what you gonna do? You gonna pull out your phone and take a picture of him? Come on, man, y'all, man. The, the media be be tricking y'all every time, and y'all. So many people are going behind buying these phones like crazy. They have forgotten to protect themselves. Man, it's crazy. I, I just opened up y'all eyes. Y'all know it's true. Half of you all who listen to this, you probably got a mobile phone right now. You probably spent $300 to $400. You got gyps. You could have went and brought you a gun to defend yourself and protect yourself, you dummy. Stop following the world. Stop following the world. Because let me tell you something. The world ain't going to protect you with somebody breaking your house. The world ain't gonna protect you when somebody break in your car. The world ain't gonna protect you when them evil people and run up on you with a gun in your head, taking your purse and beating you up and pistol whooping you. The world ain't gonna protect you, and your damn op and your damn mobile phone can't protect you neither. You need a gun. You need to protect yourself and defend your damn self. This the wicked last days, man, and I'm letting it be known. Tiario ain't playing, man. Run up on me with that foolishness if you want. You gonna get shot and killed. I'm not joking around with Satan's people. You want beef? Let's beef now. You know what I'm saying? I'm strapped. Let's beef now. For all of you internet, y'all, I got a lot of internet haters that hate me. Let's see them talk shit now. I dare you to touch me and try to harm me. I'm shooting you. Point blank period. I'm not playing with you. I'm going to send you to hell where you belong. Done, man. I'm done. Done. I'm tired of Satan's people, man. I'm not praying for my enemies. I ain't praying for them. I ain't praying for them. Because they shouldn't be going around trying to terrorize innocent people from the beginning. That's off top. Done with all this stuff, man. Y'all better stop listening to these preachers and start waking up down here, man. Because a pre your preacher ain't going to save you when you've got some criminals in your house. Preacher can't save you. Your preacher ain't going to be able to save you when you got some criminals breaking in your car. You better start blasting. Go get slapped. Go get your license for it. Do it the right way, y'all. Do it the right way, man. Defend yourself. Protect yourself. Protect your home. Protect your family. If you're a dude out there listening to this and you got a girlfriend or a wife, protect her. Protect your woman. Protect your kids, man. Take care of your damn business and stop playing around with the devil before Satan take you out, man. This ain't a game down here. Uh, they kill people. Yes, they do. What type of people, Tiario? Evil people. The angels of God kills evil people people it's in the bible i'm going to show it to you for yourself okay the reason why i'm i'm doing this video and this message is because you know you know in christianity you don't get taught the, the, the real truth you don't get taught the real truth in christianity they try to make it look like all oh, the angels of god they're just some great beings and you know they fly around full of love and the angels of God, they fly around 
you know, smiley face all the time, you know, and they're nice angels. But if the truth be told, if the truth be told, there are different types of angels. There are different types of angels. You have the common angels. You have the cherubim angels. You have the seraphim angels. You got the warrior angels who are straight soldiers for God sent out on a mission. You got all types of angels. And there are certain types of angels in heaven that's only designed to kill. Listen to me carefully. There are angels in heaven that's that's only designed to kill. They soldier type angels. They warrior type angels. That's their job. They are only designed to kill. God, he, whenever God gets ready to destroy some serious, serious type stuff, he will call on his warrior type angels because, because these angels, they are only designed to kill. And remember, Different angels are assigned to do different things. You know, you got the angels who who take your prayers up to God. You got the other type of angels who do this. You got the other type of angels who may protect you, you know, in, in spiritual warfare. But then you got the other angels. But then you got other angels who are only designed to kill. And I'm going to show you for yourself. Now, if you don't believe in God, the devil, heaven, hell, angels, then this video ain't for you. Don't even waste your time. Don't waste my time. If you don't believe in any of this stuff, keep it moving. But there are people out there like me who are spiritual and we believe in all this stuff. We know it's real. So I'm going to show you for yourself because, you know, you get these Christians. Oh, angels of God don't kill people. Oh, no, 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 they don't. Okay. There are warrior angels who are sent out on a mission to kill. I'm going to show you for yourself. Let's get to it. Go to um, the book of Isaiah. Go to the book of Isaiah chapter 37 verse 36. The book of Isaiah chapter 37 verse 36. Go to the book of Isaiah chapter 37 Verse 36, and I'm going to show you for yourself. Watch how powerful this is. Isaiah chapter 37, verse 36. And look what it says. It says, then the angel of the Lord, who? The angel of who? The Lord. Then the angel of the Lord went out and killed in the camp of the Assyrians, 185,000. And when the people arose early in the morning, they, they were the corpse all dead. Look at this with an open eye. It didn't say angels with an S on it. It said angel, meaning one angel. One did this. Just one. Just one. Yo, it didn't say a group of angels went out. It didn't say a, 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 a click of them went out. It said an uh, angel of the Lord, meaning one single angel. One angel of the Lord killed. 185,000. Yo, do you know how many people that is, yo? Do you know how many people 185,000 people is? Yo, that's a lot of people, boy. 185,000 people. 185,000 people, yo. Yo, that's like an angel going... Really... You don't even got that many people packed in a football arena, huh? How many seats is there in a football arena? But I'm pretty sure it ain't 185,000, huh? Okay, well, this angel killed 185,000. That's a lot of people, yo. Just one angel. And it didn't say the angel of Satan. It said the angel of the Lord. And Tiario is showing you how serious this stuff is, man. This is why the Bible tells us that we are fighting against principalities and powers of the air. These warrior angels ain't to be joked with. Now, when we look at this scripture right here, I can clearly see through the scripture that this, this was a warrior angel. This was the angels that's in heaven that's designed to kill. Angels walk in self-defense, y'all. For all of you out there who don't believe in self-defense and you don't want to promote it, well, guess what? You don't have to promote it because guess what? 
You don't got to promote it because guess what? The angels of God promote self-defense. Angels in heaven carry swords and they kill. The warrior angels carry swords and they kill. So look, you don't got to promote self-defense. No, no, you can keep trying to call on God all you want, okay? But the, even the angels fight in battle. Even the angels kill. Even the angels promote self-defense. What do you think this was? Do you think this angel just went out and killed these people just to be having some fun? No, this angel went and killed these people because he is a warrior angel and God told him to go do this. That's why it says, then the angel of the Lord went out and killed in the camp. Who told that angel to go do that? God. Now you already know God sent that angel to, to go do that. Why, Tiario? Because, because God's people will stay getting the victory. This was battle. This was a battle situation. And the angel of the Lord had to go out and take care of business. Yes. Yes. Now, sometimes the, the warrior angels will go out and take care of business because God's people are too afraid to uh, fight for themselves. Take notes. Sometimes the, the, sometimes the warrior angels will go out and take care of business for God because God's people are afraid to fight for themselves. Yeah. See, 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 when you got a bunch of cowards in the kingdom of heaven, you know, who's scared to take a stand, who, 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 who's scared to buy a gun to protect their family and their home. Then, you know, then God got to sometimes step in and send and send his warrior angels on a mission. You know what I'm saying? And it's really sad, you know, but hey, it has to get done. We are fighting against principalities and powers of the air. If you got some serious, serious demons in the spirit world trying to take you out, you know what I'm saying? Then you're going to have to pray. You know what I'm saying? And pray that God releases his angels to you. Because like I told you, there are different types of angels. You got the common angels. You got the seraphim. You got the cherubim. You got the uh, you got the holy angels. You got the other type of angels that have uh, four heads. You know what I'm saying? Like they got one, the head of an ox, a lion, a man, and I think a bear or something like that. But yes. You got the angels that got full heads and then you got the other type of angels that protect the throne room of God. You got other angels that protects different parts of heaven. You know, it ain't going to be. See, see, you got to understand heaven is a kingdom. It's not going to be people in heaven being silly. No, it's angels in heaven that protects and guards certain parts of heaven. And then you got the angels who even stand by Jesus, who, who protects Jesus on a throne. You know what I'm saying? And that's some powerful stuff. So when you get judged by God in the end, you got to understand the angels going to be watching you get judged. Oh, yes, they are. They're going to be watching you get judged because if God rejects you and sends you to hell, who do you think send you to hell? The angels of God send you to hell. They take you by your side and send you down to the lake of fire and you burn forever. Yes. The book of Revelation chapter 21 verse 8. Yeah. Yeah. I know about all this stuff with these angels, y'all. I studied all this stuff when I was 18 years old. But I'm just sharing this with God's people because, you know, you know, you don't get this kind of talking church, religion, Christianity and all that. You know what I'm saying? So, but this is real. Yes, this is real. And um, the other scripture, if you want, uh, it's also in 2 Kings chapter 19, verse 35. Yeah. But I gave y'all the one of Isaiah chapter 37, verse 36. Yes. Angels of God kill people. Yes. The warrior angels are soldier type angels. They go out on a mission. They kill. They hunt down satanic people and, and get rid of them. Yes, they do. You know what I'm saying? These angels walk in battle. They walk in self-defense. They don't play around and they carry swords. See, because you got to understand something. You got to understand something. In these times, in, in, in these Bible times, you know, the angels had the swords. Well, it's different now. We got the guns. But, you know, in the Bible times, the angels had the swords. Now, do these angels still carry swords? Because they eternal. Of course, they still carry swords. The warrior angels, of course, you better believe they still carry swords. Because they fight against demons and principalities and powers of the air. You better believe they carry swords. You know what I'm saying? See, me, I carry guns. But the angels of God, they carry swords. A weapon is a weapon. You know what I'm saying? So, like I told y'all, people out there... Who hate self-defense and who hate that world. Look, you can hate it all you want. Because even the angels of God are walking in self-defense. 
So a lot of stupid people out there who just don't make sense with the things that they say and the things that they do. And they go against weapons, you know, they they go against self-defense, they go against guns, they go against this, they go against that. And see, the reason why they go against all of these things is because it's called being brainwashed by Christianity and by religion. It's called being brainwashed by Christianity and by religion. OK, when you are brainwashed, you know, you are damn near not going to believe any truth because that's that's the reason why they call it being brainwashed. When you brainwash, you are not going to believe the truth because you brainwash. So I have to do this message just to show people so people can get a full understanding of 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 how serious this is and how all of this stuff is already in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Because you get you, you, you it's like you get these stupid people and this is what they say. Oh, Tiario, you know, Tiario shouldn't be shooting his guns. Tiario shouldn't be showing pictures of his guns. Let me tell you something. Guns is a weapon. It's a weapon. That's all it is. It's a weapon. The weapon is not evil. OK, guns are not evil. The weapon is not evil. People in the Bible had weapons. And I'm going to talk about this stuff, okay? I got to talk about it, y'all, and I have to do this video on this. So here we go. Let, let me just dive off right into this topic. Weapons in the Bible and going to war with Satan's people. First thing first, I got to say this right quick. The re and, and you may want to take notes. The reason why, and, and, and hear me clearly, y'all. The reason why God's people will never be able to take over the earth it's because they are afraid to go to war with Satan's people. Write that down. It's, it's the truth. It's the truth. The reason why God's people will never be able to take over the earth is because they are afraid to go to war with Satan's people. I'm, I'm going to say it again because it's powerful and it's true. The reason why God's people will never be able to take over the earth because they are afraid to go to war with Satan's people. That's why. And guess what? As long as you are afraid to go to war with Satan's people, the kingdom of God will never control the earth. Never. Never. You can go to church all you want. You can quote all the scriptures all you want. You can say you are a Christian, a Muslim, a Buddhist, or a Jehovah Witness, or a Mormon, whatever you want. You can say you have the Lord in your life. But guess what? But guess what? If you are afraid to go to war with Satan's people, Satan's people will continue to control the earth. Point blank, period. Now watch this. That's in the Bible. That's in the Bible. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Remember, y'all, when God's people now for all of you all who know your Bible, you know, the Bible stories, you, you, you know, I'm telling the truth. You know what I'm talking about. OK. Whenever God's people in the Bible got ready to take over the land, they went to war. From Joshua on down, they went to war. Whenever God's people got ready to take over the land, they had to go to war. Joshua had to go to war. God commanded him to go to war, kill Satan's people, take them people out, take over the land. Samson had to go to war. You know what I'm saying? And matter of fact, I'm going to keep it real with you all. Matter of fact, Samson's, Samson's whole purpose was killing Satan's people. That's why God created Samson. For you, for you all who have read the book of Judges and you know the Samson story, Samson's whole purpose was killing Satan's people. That was his purpose. I'm saying it to you in a more ghetto way, but that was his purpose. Samson's ordained prophecy and purpose over his life was to kill Satan's people, basically go to war. That's why God was giving him all that strength. You know what I'm saying? God was giving Samson all that strength because that was his chosen ordained purpose. Kill Satan's people, Samson. Go to war with them. Don't play with them. Kill them. Take them out. And remember, remember, Samson killed thousands of them. Killed thousands of them because that was his purpose, man. Take them people out. You want to know why? Because Satan's people was controlling the land at that time. 
Remember, Satan's people at that time was controlling the land and it was putting all this fear in God's people. So this is what God said. God said, okay, I'm going to create Samson. And his whole ordained prophecy and purpose is going to be to kill Satan's people so God's people can get the land back. And that's how the Bible works. Every time, you know what I'm saying, God's people had to go conquer the land, conquer a certain part of the land, they had to go kill and get rid of Satan's people. That's why God created Samson. God didn't create Samson to be a Christian. Come on, man. God did not create Samson to go to church. God did not create Samson to be a Bible debater and a scripture quoter and all this stupid stuff that y'all are doing today. God created Samson to kill Satan's people, point blank, period. That was his purpose. So if anybody goes against this, then you're going against Samson's purpose. That was his purpose. And that's why God was giving him the strength to do it. Even Joshua and them had to go kill people to take over the land. Even David and them had to go kill people to take over the land. This is Bible proof. Now watch this. Here we go. Let's, let's, let's get to these weapons. Now this is for everybody who say that guns is wrong. And this is for everybody who say Tiario is wrong for carrying his guns and this and that and that and the other and carrying my weapons. Let me promote some of these weapons to you in the Bible. Here we go. In the Bible times, they didn't have guns. They had spears. Spears was a weapon. They had spears. They had swords. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Remember, in the Bible times, they didn't have guns. They didn't have semi-automatic shotguns. They didn't have pistols. They didn't have rifles. They didn't have all that. They had spears. Spears was their guns. They had spears and they had swords. Yep. And they also use stones as weapons in the Bible. Because remember, in the Bible days, people were stoning people to death. Those stones is like bricks, man. They throw that at you. That was considered a weapon. Because remember, they was killing people in the Bible by using these stones. You know what I'm saying? Stones was considered weapons in the Bible. And when somebody was out of order... And they disobeyed the truth of God. They stoned them to death. Remember that. Know your word. Okay, remember that. In the Old Testament, they stoned people to death. And I got to keep it real with y'all. They still stone people to death today. Go overseas. They, they stone people to death over there. If, if, if you're not walking with God in and, and, and some of them countries overseas, if you ain't following the truth, they'll stone you to death over there. Yeah, they, they still stone people to death today. That's right. Well, stones was another weapon that was used in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Um, you had the swords, you had the spears, um, also the slingshot. That's what David had. The slingshot was also a weapon that was used in the Bible. And David was very good at, 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 at using that slingshot. That's why he killed Goliath. Remember y'all, now watch this, remember. When Goliath rolled up on David and him and he came in the camp being a bully, talking all this evil demonic talk he was talking. Remember, Goliath had a sword in his hand. That was his weapon. He had the sword. He had the armor. The armor was considered a bulletproof vest. You know what I'm saying? The, the armor was their vest. You know what I'm saying? Because if they try to, if you try to stick them with the sword and stick it through their heart, that's why they wore the armor to cover their chest and heart. And, and, and their stomachs and stuff. Well, today we have bulletproof vests. But in the Bible days, they had the armor. That's why the scripture says, put on the armor of God, man. Come on, man. The, the scripture was referring to the weapons. Use your brain, folks. Nothing is wrong with carrying weapons. Nothing is wrong with weapons. That's why the scripture said, put on the full armor of God. Because God was referring to his weapons. Put on the, the, the whole armor of God don't mean you be stupid and you be a stupid Christian. Think about it. It don't mean you wear the scriptures. That don't even make sense. Cause, 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 because you hear Christians talk about that. Put on, I'm putting on the armor of God. Christian, what are you saying you're putting on the armor of God? The armor of God was referring to the weapons that them people was carrying in the Old Testament. Remember, didn't the Bible tell you to be watchful? Of Satan because your devil seeks like a roaring lion whom he may destroy. 
Be watchful. The, the scriptures is telling you to be watchful. It's not telling you to be stupid. It's telling you to be watchful. Okay? The world that you were living in. You have to have a weapon on you. I don't care who you are. Now watch this. You want more Bible proof? The angels of God. Let's talk about the angels. Last time I checked. Hold up, hold up. Last time I checked, angels carry swords. See? Angels carry weapons. See, I, I, y'all, I know the truth. But these stupid Christians, man, they stupid. Angels carry weapons. When was the last time you saw an angel with no weapon? Angels carry swords. When angels are fighting against principalities and powers of darkness in the spirit realm, angels are fighting them with weapons, with swords. They have angels that carry swords. Some angels even carry spears, man. And when these and you got to understand these angels protect the throne room of heaven. These angels are protecting heaven. Do you really believe the angels of God is not packing? The angels of God are even packing. They packing swords. They packing helmets on their head and, 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 and armor around their chest because they fighting against principalities and powers of the darkness, man, in the spirit world. Angels are fighting demons every day. And they're fighting them with weapons. Come on, man. Let me tell y'all something. You want to know why Satan could not take over heaven? You want to know why Satan could not take over heaven? Remember, Satan got kicked out of heaven. And remember, Satan did try to take over. You want to know why Satan couldn't take over heaven? Because them angels up there had weapons. Michael the archangel and the rest of them angels, Raphael and Gabriel and all them angels, they are packing weapons and Satan could not win. You better write down this secret, man. This is why Satan could not take over heaven because God's angels up there had them weapons. They had them swords. Now watch this. Imagine, just imagine what if, let's just say what if the angels of God didn't carry their weapons. Satan would have took over the whole thing. What if? What if the angels of God did not have their weapons? Man, man, man. Satan would have took over the whole thing. Let me tell y'all something. Satan knows these secrets. He know all this stuff. Satan know how powerful them weapons are. He know this. You cannot quote scriptures to Satan's people. You got to have a weapon to take them down. When Michael the Archangel was fighting Satan in heaven, Michael the Archangel was fighting him with the swords. Angels of God carry weapons, people. Wake up. Okay? So there is nothing wrong with Tiario carrying his guns. The angels of God are carrying weapons. This is realistic facts I'm giving you, man. This ain't no game. This is the truth. And here it is. Remember in the New Testament when Jesus made that statement and Jesus said he can call down like legions of angels if he really wanted to. My God, that was a powerful statement that Jesus told them dummies. You want to know why Jesus said that he can call down all them angels if he really wanted to? <laughs> because Jesus know them and he know the angels packing. Je Jesus said he can call down legions of angels, man, if he wanted to. Because he know them angels are packing them weapons, man. Them angels be coming from heaven with swords and all kind of spears and all kind of stuff, man. Jesus already knew. If I call down these angels, y'all in trouble. He knew that. The angels is not so. Let me tell y'all something. The kingdom of heaven was never meant to be soft and scary. The kingdom of heaven was never meant to be soft and scary. I'm going I'm to I'm say it again. The kingdom of heaven was never meant to be soft and scary. The reason why the kingdom of heaven is so messed up today is because you have a bunch of scary people who are getting in it. Christianity made the kingdom of heaven weak. Christianity made the kingdom of heaven soft. That's facts, man. This is why you got so many people who soft. Trying to talk about God and you ain't got no heart. Sit your ass down. You scary. You soft. You're not ready for war. We need people of God who are ready for war. This is why we got to respect David on this one, y'all. David went to war. Remember, everybody was scared to fight Goliath. Everybody was scared to go to war. David said, I got it, man. I'll take him out. David had his weapon. David's weapon was the slingshot and the rock. That was his weapon. He cocked that thing back and took Goliath out. And here it is. Here it is. After David killed Goliath, he cut off his head. 
He took Goliath's sword and he cut off his head. David was ready for war. We got to respect that, man. We got to respect that. David was ready for war. That's what made David special, man. He wasn't no coward, man. He took a life. He killed Satan's people, man. He took them dudes down for the kingdom of heaven. Now, here it is. Here it is. What if David was scary? Let's keep it real, y'all. What if David was scary? If David was scary, Goliath and them would have just straight bullied God's people, man, and took over the land. And, and y'all, y'all know it's true. Y'all know it's true. We need warriors, man. Thank God for warriors. See me, y'all. Tiara, I'm a warrior. I'm a warrior. And let me tell you something. We need warriors, man. We don't need no soft ass people. People who scared to go to war with Satan's people. We need warriors. That's why David and them was winning all them battles, man, because they was warriors. They was about that stuff, man. That's why Michael the Archangel and them are special to God. Because Michael the Archangel went to war with Satan in heaven. He wasn't scared of Satan. He went to war with him. Even this, here it is. The scripture tells you. Hold up, man. Let me find the scripture right quick. Hold up. Check it out. Look at it for yourself, man. Let me give you the scripture on this. Revelation chapter 12, verse 7. I'm going to repeat it again. Revelations chapter 12, verse 7. And, war, and, and look what it says. It says, and war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon and the dragon and his angels fought. Reve the book of Revelation chapter 12, verse 7. It says, and war broke out in heaven. The only reason why the kingdom of heaven won against Satan in heaven because they went to war. They went to war. They had to go to war, man. And let me tell you something, man. God's people, we got to go to war with Satan's people. We got to go to war. That, that's the only way God's people will take over this earth. We got to go to war. We got to go to war with Satan's people. Church is not going to cut it. Let me tell you something. Church ain't going to cut it. Get that out your head. Church ain't going to cut it. Christianity ain't going to cut it. Calling yourself a follower of God ain't going to cut it. You can quote all the scriptures you want. That ain't going to cut it. You can talk that talk. It ain't going to cut it. The only way that the kingdom of heaven can take over this world and this nation is we go to war with Satan's people. We got to kill them folks and take them out. That's the only way. We got to go to war with Satan's people. We got to go to war. We got to get strapped and we got to get ready. And I guarantee you Satan's people will not win because the Lord going to give us the victory. But... That'll never happen because God's people is scary, y'all. God's people are scared to go to war. And I'm doing this message just to let y'all know. There is nothing wrong with weapons. I broke it all down to you. Weapons was used in the Bible. And let me tell you something. If it wasn't for them weapons in the Bible, God's people would have never won the victory. David and them would have lost if it wasn't for them weapons. Joshua and them would have lost if it wasn't for them weapons. Even the angels in heaven... Michael the Archangel and them would have lost if it wasn't for the weapons. You need them weapons. And you better thank God that God created them weapons. And you better get your hand on one. I'm telling you. Because God, this is the only way, man. God's people going to be able to take over the earth. Got to go to war with Satan's people, man. All that preaching and all that talk ain't going to cut it, man. Y'all people been in church for years. God's people still haven't took over the earth. Church ain't going to do it. Christianity is too weak. We need warriors. We need soldiers in the kingdom, man. We need people who are really ready to go to war with Satan's people. This is not a against Satan's kingdom, self-defense against Satan's people. Okay? We are living in evil times. People are demonically possessed by the devil. People are evil. People are jealous. People are, are walking around with hatred in their heart. People are cutthroat snakes. Okay? And I'm walking in reality. Tiario is walking in reality now my thing is this okay you got your own beliefs you got your own opinions okay if you don't want to protect yourself if you don't want to defend yourself fine that's on you it's your life it's your free will it's your choice okay if if you want to put all your faith and hope and trust in God and if you think that God is going to protect you in the moment of battle or in the moment of a robbery or carjacking, if a criminal breaks in your house, if if some satanic demonic criminals trying to break in your house 
and murder you and rape your girlfriend and, and rape your wife. If you think that God is going to be there to save you and help you, that's on you. Okay, that's your thing. Tiario, me, I'm different. I'm a different follower of God. I'm a follower of God to where I walk in reality. That's me. I walk in reality. I live in a real world, okay? And the world I'm living in, we ain't living in no bubble, okay? Now, here's my thing. Here's my thing. A lot of people ask me this. They say, Tiario, how come all these different religions don't promote self-defense? You know, you got Christianity, don't promote self-defense. Israelites, don't promote self-defense. Um, Yahweh and Yahweh followers don't promote self-defense. Why don't these religions promote self-defense? The reason why all these different religious groups don't promote self-defense is because it's the slave mind. Okay, it's the slave mind. Remember, the slaves could not defend themselves in slavery. Okay, the, I'm, I'm just being real with you. It's the slave mind. They was out there in the cotton field, just picking cotton, getting hit with whips, getting hit and beaten over and over and over and over and over and over. Okay? And their job was to just accept it. The law gonna make a way. Accept it. The law gonna make a way. Accept it. The law gonna make a way. And guess what, y'all? God never made the way. God never made the way. The slave masters beat them slaves half to death. Okay? And you gotta understand, the reason why they don't promote self-defense in Christianity, they don't promote self-defense in uh, the Israelite cults, and the Yahweh and Yahweh followers don't promote it, the Jehovah Witnesses don't promote it, the Mormons don't promote it, it's, it's the slave mind. The slave, you gotta understand, the slave mind is, don't defend yourself, suffer for the Lord. That's the slave mind. Suffer for the Lord, don't defend yourself. Okay. Well, this, this, this is what I want to tell y'all real quick, okay? This is what I want to tell y'all. Okay, you got to understand this now. You read your Bible, right? You read your Bible just as much as Tiara will do. Now, you got to understand this. Use your common sense. Because if we talk in self-defense and if we talk in weapons, use your common sense, okay? And I told y'all this in my old videos. I told y'all this. God never killed Goliath. God never killed Goliath. David killed Goliath in the act of self-defense to, to, to protect and defend the land. You got to understand that, okay? David never called on God to kill Goliath for him. David used his common sense and he used his weapon. Now, David, now, now David's weapon, it wasn't a gun because, they didn't, because guns wasn't even thought of. 2,000 years ago, but David's weapon was a slingshot and a rock, and he used that weapon to defend himself and to defend the land, okay? Now, you got to understand something. I told y'all this in my previous videos, okay? In the Bible, in the Bible times, the weapons was what? Swords, okay? They had swords. They used swords as weapons in the Bible. In these times, Niggas is not using swords. Niggas is using guns. So you got to understand that. The only thing that's different is the time frame that we are living in. Okay? And you got to understand that, man. People in the Bible walked in self-defense. David acted in an act of self-defense when he killed Goliath. Okay? He killed Goliath with the slingshot and the rock. He never called on God. Joshua in the Old Testament went into battle. Okay? And they went into battle with the swords, killing Satan's people. Okay, you got to understand that. Samson, his whole purpose was to kill. Samson wasn't no speaker. Samson wasn't no prophet. Samson wasn't no minister, no pastor, no bishop, or none of that. Samson's purpose was to kill. He was a warrior. His purpose was to kill. Okay, you got to understand that. Now, when we talk in this self-defense talk, the Bible is not going, you got to understand something. The Bible don't teach us self-defense. We have to use our basic common sense. Read through the stories, okay? And when you read through the stories, 
you 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 will get a you, you will get a understanding of what was going on when it comes to self defense. Okay? Yes. David never called on God to kill Goliath for him. And guess what? God wasn't going to do it. David had enough common sense and said, hey, yo, check this out. Goliath is in the field. He's talking reckless. He's trying to take us out. I got to kill him. And I'm going to kill him. That's it. It's that simple. Now, we, living in a, we are living in a satanic world. Okay? To whereas, and I'm going to just be honest with y'all. Just like I told y'all in the beginning of this message. You are free. You are free to believe in whatever you want. If you believe that the Most High God is going to protect you, do your thing. Okay? But don't knock somebody else for wanting to pick up a gun and protect their life and protect their family and protect their home. Okay? And, I'm, and I got to say this to all of you people out there because it's a lot of people that watch my videos. I got a lot of fans, you know, even kids watch my videos. I just want to tell y'all youngsters out there. You young teenagers, keep your record clean. Keep your record clean. Because when you make 21 years old, you can go to a legal gun shop and you can get you a legal gun and you can protect yourself and you can protect your home and you can protect your girlfriend, your wife, your kids, whatever. Okay? You can protect your property. Keep your record clean. Okay? I'm Tiario, I'm not going to tell you to go get a gun off the street. No, because if you go get a gun off the street... You know what I'm saying? By law, you will go to jail and you will face probably up to six to seven years in prison. OK, that straight up, you're going to mess up your record. I'm telling y'all to do it the right way. If your record is clean, go to a legal gun shop. Get you a legal gun, get into self-defense and get the knowledge of these weapons. Get, get the knowledge of these weapons. Get the training. OK. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. And do it the legal way. Do not buy a gun off the street. Because if you get caught by the police with that, you are looking at probably five to six to seven years in prison. And, it's, and if you're black, and if you are black, you're going to get hit with more years. Trust me on this. Use your common sense now. You already know the system is controlled by satanic, by satanic people in the system. And the police will love to catch you with a gun that you brought off the street so they can slam your ass and give you five to six to seven years. Use your head. Be smart. OK. And I'm doing this message, man, because I care about y'all people. I'm going to be real with you. You you women out there. I'm going to tell you off top, lady. Look, I don't want to see no criminal kicking in your door, uh, raping your ass. And then after he raped you, he just kills you. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to just be real. Okay, your boyfriend ain't going to do nothing because what your boyfriend going to do? He ain't got no legal gun to, to protect y'all. So what are you going to do? Call on God? So what are you going to do? Run to the Bible and quote a scripture? You, you, you religious people, listen to me. You cannot quote a scripture to a satanic rapist who is raping your girlfriend or your wife. I don't care how much you believe in the Bible. You cannot quote no scripture to a satanic criminal who is raping your wife or your girlfriend. Satanic criminals don't care about no Bible verses. That's why they called satanic criminals. The only thing and the only way you're going to have to put a bullet in him and take him down. Straight up off the top. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. This is serious, man. This ain't no joke. And, and my thing, and I got to say this real quick to all of you religious followers out there. If y'all know to all of you so-called Bible readers out there, to all of you Bible readers out there. If you know that the world we are living in is evil, why ain't you teaching self-defense? That just doesn't make sense. You know we're in the evil world. And yet y'all going around telling people to put their faith and trust in the most high God. Are you stupid? Are you stupid? Oh, put your faith... And trust in the most high God. People been putting their faith and trust in the most high God. And guess what? Trayvon Martin died. All them innocent black people died. By the hands of white racist cops. See? The slave mind of religion. Oh, put your faith and trust in the Lord. The most high God is going to protect you. No, he's not. Because God does not protect stupidity. I'm going to say that again. God does not protect stupidity. 
You need your common sense. All right. A criminal. Uh, all right. I give you an example. Let's say you got three criminals kicking in your door in the middle of the night, and you can hear them kicking in, trying to get in. Okay, and they all got AK 47s. What the hell are you going to do when they kick in that door and they coming in there with them AK 47s? What the hell are you going to do? Run to the Bible? No. I'm going to tell you what you're going to do. You're going to pick up your phone and dial 911. Now, watch this. When you pick up your phone and dial 911, the reason why you're dialing 911 is because is of what? The police. Why? Because the police got guns. Thank you. Because the police got guns. So in your mental mind, you're, you're hoping that the police show up on time with them guns to take down them criminals. But guess what? You could have just took them down. You could have just defended your home and took them down. Because by the time the police get to your house, you're already dead. By the time the police get to your house, you are already dead. Thank you. You're already dead, brother. By the time the cops show up, you're dead. And, and let's be real. Do you honestly think that the police is going to rush to your house for you? Y'all got to stay off them drugs. Do you honestly believe that the police is going to rush to your house for you? And especially if you're black. Do you honestly believe that the police is going to rush to your house for you? And you know you're a nigga and you know you're black. The police ain't rushing to your house for no black person. I'm telling y'all, that you, you know it's true. The police are going to take their time and tell your ass is murdered. Then they're going to show up when you fetched out on your floor, blood all over your floor, and the satanic criminals done put two bullets in your head. That's when the cops going to show up. And guess what? Do you honestly believe that the police is going to investigate your case? No. You, you want to know why? Because to them, you're just another dead nigga. That's the truth. Because to the cops, you're just another dead nigga. And this is why Tiario preached, yo, I teach self-defense. I talk that self-defense talk, okay? I care about y'all people out there, okay? Brother, I don't want to see you walk into your car, brother, and then some satanic criminal just, just hop out of nowhere and rob you and then, look, just shoot you a couple times. Just because he trying to steal your wallet or he trying to steal them tennis shoes on your feet, brother. I don't want to see you die like that. But see, Christian's going to tell y'all, Put your faith and trust in God. Israelites going to tell you to trust in the most high. I'm going to be real with you. Muslims, I'm not going to lie. Muslims don't, don't play around. You're not running up on no, no Muslims with that nonsense. The whole nation of Islam will be coming after you. Straight up. I got to give props to Muslims. Look, I'm not a Muslim, but I'm not going to lie. You run up on a Muslim with that nonsense... The whole nation of Islam going to get together and they coming after you with them guns because Muslims believe in walking in self-defense. Salute to Malcolm X because Malcolm X was talking in self-defense talk. Salute to him. Salute to Nat Turner. Okay? Straight up. Salute to the real original Black Panthers. I don't know what y'all out there doing today. Okay? Y'all talking about put y'all faith and trust in the most high God and innocent people is dying every day. Dylan Roof walked into the church and killed, what, nine black people? Nine innocent black lives was taken. Because he even had enough common sense to know they don't, Christians don't follow self-defense. They don't believe in it. So I'm about to just, so, so, so look, in Dylan's mind, Dylan like, look, I'm going to just walk into the church and kill all of them. Because y'all not teaching self-defense. Y'all just sitting in church, believing in God, being stupid. Knowing you living in a satanic world. Knowing you living in a world that's ran by Satan, man. You live in a world that's controlled by the devil. How can y'all not teach self-defense? Oh, the most high gonna protect us. Are you stupid? The most high gonna protect us. Okay, okay. The most high gonna protect you, right? No, no. You don't even, you don't, you don't even make sense. You don't even make sense. Because the most high God wants all of us to use our basic common sense. Seriously. You Christians out there, don't teach self-defense. You Israelites out there, don't teach self-defense. You Yahweh and Yahweh followers, y'all don't teach self-defense. Y'all just tell these innocent people to put their faith and trust in the Most High God. And that's it. And hope for the best. And, and look, and hope for the best. Oh, man, y'all are stupid, man. Y'all have lost y'all minds, bruh.
Okay? I'm so glad that God picked me for this. Because I'm going to talk that self-defense talk. That's right. That's right. Okay? We are living in a satanic world. And our satanic government is, is setting up some stuff to get rid of all y'all. To get rid of all y'all. And guess what? You're going to wish you had a gun then. You're going to wish you had a gun then. A lot of y'all are probably going to be sending me messages. Tiario, can I borrow one of your guns, bro? It's real out here. The government kicking at people's doors, killing them. Can I borrow one of your guns? See what I'm saying? Seriously. This is about looking ahead, man. Okay? Y'all already know the government setting up something to get rid of all y'all. Y'all already know that. And yet, y'all talking about God going to protect y'all. Now watch this. Now watch this. Let, let, let me say this real quick. If you know that the government is setting things up to kill you, him, her, me. Okay, why not just get into self-defense then? And get prepared for when the drama really go down, you and your family or you and your team can be safe. Y'all can defend yourselves and get through that easily. But y'all dummies talking about the Most High going to protect you. He ain't. The Most High don't protect stupidity. When was the last time you saw the Most High protecting stupidity? Never. 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 When Samson started being stupid, he lost his strength. Because Samson started operating off of stupidity. As long as Samson was using his common sense, God was giving him all the strength. But soon when Samson started operating off stupidity, he lost his power. Because God don't operate off of stupidity. God moves when you use your basic common sense. I'm using my basic common sense. That's why I'm going to always get the victory. Ain't no, ain't no satanic criminal running this way. You got to be out your mind, man. My haters know that. My haters, all they do, y'all, is just talk that trash through the computer. But they have enough common sense to know. Don't run tiara your way with that nonsense. Because they see this. They scared. Because they see this. Thank you. That's basic common sense, right? Not running up on Tiario with that nonsense. No. Not. You, you can't bully me. It ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. And you smart enough to know that. That's why you just gonna keep talking through the computer. Because you have enough common sense to know you're not running this way. Because you will die early. Because I'm going to act on the act of self-defense. I'm going to defend myself. I'm going to defend my family. I'm going to defend my home. And I'm going to defend my property. Because it's my legal right. And ain't none of you haters going to stop it. Thank you. But I'm trying to get y'all into basic common sense. Because I don't want to see y'all out there dying and getting raped and slaughtered by evil satanic people. It's sad, bro, because... Pagan Christians going to keep dying because they keep on talking about they trusting in God. And you Israelites are next. Let me tell y'all what's about to happen to these Israelites out there. Let me tell y'all. The Christians already got their issue. The Muslim terrorists, the, they straight slaughtering Christians. Okay? Now you got white boys like Dylan Roof walking into the church killing Christians. So Christians are already getting it. Because they, they, they getting it because they ain't walking in common sense. Okay, I'm going to tell you who next. Israelites are next. You Israelites are next because y'all don't walk in self-defense. And y'all don't teach self-defense. They're going to start killing y'all too. Who's going to start killing them, Tiario? Not the government. Them haters. See, see let me tell y'all. This is what the government do. The government sit back and they watch y'all haters destroy y'all. Yes. You got people out there that hate Christianity. You got people out there that hate Christianity. I'm going to be real. You got people out there that hate Christianity so much, they'll walk into a church and kill all them innocent Christians. That's right. Because in their mental mind, they hate Christians. Guess what? You Israelites out there. I'm talking to y'all now. You Israelites. Y'all next. Y'all next. Because you got people out there that hate y'all cult. And they hate y'all religion. And guess what? You Israelites are going to start dying. They're going to start running up on y'all. Shooting y'all. Because y'all not teaching self-defense. Y'all keep telling all these people to put their faith and trust in God. And God looking at y'all like, man, are they crazy down there? The Mormons and, and, and the Jehovah Witnesses, they coming for y'all too. 
Who coming from Tario? The haters. I'm telling y'all what I'm telling y'all what's what's to come and what's gonna go down. Okay? I see it. And you Yahweh been Yahweh followers, they're gonna kill y'all too. Because y'all don't teach self-defense. They're gonna kill y'all too. That's right. Christians was the first to get it. Because they don't teach self-defense. That's right. The Muslim terrorists be killing dozens of them Christians. And now you got dudes walking into the church killing Christians. The Israelites going to get it. Y'all haters going to come after y'all and kill y'all too because y'all ain't teaching self-defense. You Yahweh be Yahweh followers. Y'all going to die next because y'all not teaching self-defense. They going to kill you, all y'all. I'm telling y'all what I know. Okay? I'm telling y'all what I know. Y'all are in a sick world, man. You are living in a sick satanic world pushing religion. Come on, man. People take religion seriously. Think about it. People take religion seriously. And y'all are out there in the world pushing religion. You got to get prepared for what's to come. What? So, so what you think? All right. So what you think? You think these six satanic people going to keep just watching y'all push y'all religions and not do y'all nothing? Man, you crazy. That's why the Christians dying. Pushing religion. Israelites are next. Mormons, Jehovah Witnesses, Yahweh and Yahweh followers, they're going to kill all y'all. Okay? They're going to kill all y'all. I'm warning y'all. And, yo, I'm, I'm just being real. I'm telling y'all dummies, get into self-defense. I'm telling y'all, get into self-defense. The right legal way. Now, Tiario, how come they're not going to run up on the Muslims? They're not going to... See, the, I just told y'all, them satanic criminals, they're not going to run up on the Muslims. Because the Muslims got them guns. Why the hell you think Farrakhan ain't dead? The reason why Farrakhan is still alive, walking around, because Farrakhan got them, 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 them killers. Them, Farrakhan got them killers around him. That's why Farrakhan is still alive. Because he got them killers protecting him and they got them guns.
big message. And this message is for black men who want to legally own guns or black people, you know, because I get a lot of messages from black people who want to become legal gun owners and they don't know the gun laws in their cities and states. They don't know. And I just want to talk about that really, really fast because, you know, I get these messages from black people who want to be legal gun owners and yet they don't know what's going on. They, they think they got to do this. They think they got to do that. They think they got to get a permit. They think they got to get a gun license when they really don't. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to go about reading the laws. And I just have to say this. I just have to say this to black people. You got to take the time out to do your homework. You got to read. You got to study. You got to go on the Internet. Going on the Internet is free. You got to go on the Internet and you got to look up your state laws, your state gun laws. And you got to read it for yourself. Because if you don't read this stuff for yourself, what's going to happen is you're going to find the people in a gun community telling you, you need this, you need that, you need this, you need that, you need a permit, you need a license. But in reality, you really don't. Okay? You really don't. Because a lot of states have good gun laws, and then a lot of states have bad gun laws. Some states, you don't need a permit or a license to purchase a gun. You just don't. But how will you know that if you're not reading and studying it for yourself? That's the problem with black people. Black people don't want to read. Black people don't want to study. And y'all wondering why white people are always ahead of y'all. You want to know why white people will always stay ahead of blacks? Because black people don't want to read. They don't want to study. Even the Bible says study to show yourself approved. This is why white people will always stay ahead of y'all. Because y'all don't want to pick up a book. Y'all don't want to go online. Y'all don't want to do no research. Y'all don't want to study. And you're going to find yourself spending a lot of money that you don't even have to spend. Seriously. A lot of states that you all live in, they got good gun laws. But y'all black folks don't want to read. So y'all out there getting gun permits and getting gun license in these states. And y'all don't even need to get it in them states. But you're not reading. And them, and them people in the gun community, they're going to rob you blind out of all your money. They're going to tell you you need a gun license. They're going to tell you you need a gun You don't need it. But they know you ain't studying for yourself. See what I'm saying? Black people who want to be legal gun owners. You got to do your own research. You got to do your own homework. You got to read the gun laws that's in your city, that's in your state. And you have to read it for yourself. So many black people are sending me messages and they saying, Tiario, I'm about to get my gun permit and I'm about to get my gun license. And I'm like, what state you live in? And they telling me certain states they live in. And I'm looking up their gun laws and I'm like, you don't need a gun license and a gun permit in that state. And they're telling me, oh, man, I didn't know that because you're not reading. Because you're not reading for yourself. So here it is. You about to go spend all that money on a gun license, on a gun permit, and you already in a good state and you don't need it. All you need is a clean record in most of these states. I'm in Texas. In Texas, we don't need gun licenses and gun permits to get guns. All we need is a clean record. We could go to the shop, fill out the form. We walking out the door in two minutes with a gun. Texas got good gun laws. Louisiana got good gun laws. Florida got good gun laws. You know what I'm saying? A, a lot of these states that y'all live in already have good gun laws, but the problem is y'all are not reading. And y'all wondering why them white people in the gun community, y'all wondering why them white people in the gun community is ahead of y'all. Because they read. They read. You can even get guns shipped to your house. See, y'all don't know that because y'all not reading. The old school guns, they call black powder revolvers. The black powder guns, you can get them shipped to your house in certain states. You can get them shipped to your house in Texas, uh, probably Florida, Louisiana. What? I got two of them guns. This ship is straight to the house. You don't even got to go to the gun shop to get it. 
They ship it straight to the house. And if your record clean, you can legally carry it. Because those type of guns are not even considered firearms. Black powder guns are not even considered firearms. But how will you know that if you're not reading and doing your own homework? Black people, man, I'm doing this message. Y'all got to get it together. Y'all got to read. Study to show yourself approved. So many black people are sending me messages about the gun world and they know nothing about what's going on because you're not reading. And the people in the gun community, trust me, they will try to get over on you if they can. They have you taking classes on gun licenses, on gun permits, spending all that money for nothing and you don't even need it in your state. It's crazy. All you need is the gun to defend yourself, right? That's all you need is the gun to protect yourself. You're home. You're home. And when you in your car, that's it for self-defense purposes. That's a wrap. But if you're not smart up here and if you're not reading, if you don't know the laws for yourself, they're going to tell you you need this permit. They're going to tell you you need this license and this and this and this and this and this. And that's a wrap. Then you're going to be spending all that money for nothing. I want to say this right quick. The gun license is only good for if you're traveling out of state. That's what the gun license is really for. The gun license is designed for if you're traveling out of state. Like if you're going out of town to different cities and states and you want to bring your gun with you, that's what the gun license is for. That's it. But if you are the type of person to where you just in your state, you're good. That's what gun licenses and that's what gun permits are really for, y'all. They only are designed for people who travel. That's it. That's it. So if, if, if let's, let's, let's say you're going to the Super Bowl, right? And you want to bring your, 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 your gun with you, your firearm with you. Okay. If you have a gun license, you can bring that thing with you. Okay. Bring your gun with you in the car and a gun license with you. You get pulled over by a cop. You pull out that gun license and show them. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's what the gun license is for. It's for people who travel. Not and not by plane, <laughs> not by plane. The gun license is designed for people who travel out of town in their vehicles. That's it. That's it, y'all. That's what it's for. That's a wrap. But if you're in a city, a state, and you don't really need it to get the gun, then just go get the damn gun. Just go to the shop and go buy the damn gun. And I'm going to repeat it. The gun license and the gun permit is only good for if you're traveling out of state with your firearm. That's it. That's it. But if you don't need the damn thing, why let them lie to you and get in your head and have you spending all this money when you don't really need it? Come on, man. It's crazy, man. But, but see, y'all don't be knowing that because black folks, they don't study and they don't read. But I had to do this video and this message, man. Black people who want to be legal gun owners, study the laws for yourself. Read and study to show yourself approved. This is why white people will always be ahead of y'all. Because white people read, they study, they do multiple research. While black people just let a person tell them anything. But you don't do your own studying. This is why the preachers got over on y'all. Because they even knew y'all was not reading the Bible for yourselves. See, preachers and Christians can't pull none of that crap on me because I studied all them stories. I know that Bible front to back. I read it for myself. I done my own homework on all that stuff. I know how it works. Okay? But it's your turn to start studying, man. Seriously. Stop looking at BET all day and start picking up books and reading and studying. Stop looking at garbage all day and start picking up books and reading and studying. Stop. It's for people who understand prophecy. This message is for people who understand prophetic messages that come from God of what's to come. That's who this message is for. Okay, I'm going to get off into this. Now, first thing first is this, y'all. Um, the movie The Purge. The movie The Purge is about the government signing off a bill um, and... And making all crime legal for one for one night, once a year. I am here to tell you that that is going to happen. Okay? 
That's going to happen. Okay? We don't know when it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. Wake up. This is some serious, serious stuff. And y'all got to understand something about God. God always warns you and show you what's to come before it happens. That's, that, that's how God works. Let me repeat that again. Take notes and write this down. Here it is. Before God allows something to take place in the earth, he always sends you a prophecy or he sends you a warning before it happens. That's common sense. If you understand prophetic messages, okay? You got to be spiritual to catch this and you have to believe in prophecy. If you don't believe in prophecy and if you don't believe in prophetic messages that come from God, this video not for you. Now, if you want to stay stuck on stupid, then stay stuck on stupid. But this is going to happen. Let me get more into it. What's what's going to come to pass is that our U.S. government is going to sign over a bill to whereas they are going to make all crime legal for one night. It might be two nights. We, we don't really know. It may be three nights. You know what I'm saying? We don't know. But this is going to happen. And the movie The Purge is a prophetic message of what's to come. Of what's to come. And let me tell you why this is going to happen. Let me tell you why. It's a, it's a ton of reasons of why this is going to happen. But let me just hit you with a couple of them. For number one, the reason why this is going to happen is because, remember, our government don't follow God. Our government don't want nothing to do with God. Remember, that's common sense, right? Our government don't follow God. And remember, they don't want nothing to do with God. And understand this, please. Understand this. Remember, let me go into the facts of this. Our government took prayer out the schools. Remember that? Remember that. And what happened when they took prayer out the schools? Satan came in. More people got killed and murdered in the schools. They took prayer out the schools. Um, our government just signed off a bill legalizing gay marriage in all 50 states now i know that shocked a lot of y'all huh see see you gotta understand what world you are living in and you gotta understand your government our u.s government they don't follow god they don't care nothing about god and you gotta stop living the lie you gotta stop lying to yourself accept it just accept it our government is not into following god they took prayer out the schools, okay? They legalized weed, okay? They legalized marijuana, okay? And then and 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 then they just signed a bill making gay marriage legal in all 50 states. When are you people going to get it? Like when are you going to wake up? Our government not into following God. Remember, you can go to a corner store and buy alcohol and get drunk. You can go to any store and buy a pack of cigarettes and smoke and kill yourself. That should show you that our government does not follow God. They're not worried about God. Now watch this. If they did all that, <laughs> what makes you think that they are not going to sign a bill and make crime legal? Y'all better wake the fuck up up and excuse my language but you did this is common sense man i'm sorry this is common sense if our government already done the worst of the worst what makes you think that they would not sign that bill and make crime legal they gonna sign that bill they gonna sign that bill y'all i know a lot of you all can't handle this and i know a lot of you all can't accept this but they gonna sign that bill that's to come in the future that's to come remember you're in america right you're in America. It's a free country. And guess what? If they want to sign a bill and pass a bill, they can do that. You can't stop that. Come on, man. Who are you? You can't stop that. Think about it. They legalized weed. You can't stop that. They they, they, they made uh, gay marriage legal in 50 states. You can't stop that. Okay? They took prayer out of school. You can't stop that. You can't stop nothing that they are doing. They're doing it right in front of your face. And they are going to sign that bill. Sooner or later, it's going to come to pass, y'all. The movie The Purge is a prophetic message and prophecy of what's to come. That movie had to come out. That movie The Purge was ordained to come out. That had to come out. God is sending the message, letting folks know of what's to come. Now, here it is. For all of you stupid assholes out there, if you want to think this is just a movie and you want to think that this is just a game, go right ahead. 
Go for it. Don't prepare yourself. Go ahead. Play around with fire if you want. Think this is a game. Think this is a joke. Remember, they just signed a bill legalizing gay marriage in 50 states. They did that with no problem. And that shook the world up for a minute, man. So what makes you think they wouldn't do this? You can't put nothing past your government, man. Come on, y'all. Let's, let's be realistic, man. Laws. Let me tell you something also, too. Why this bill is going to be signed. Laws are changing every year. Laws are changing. Laws are getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. These people just getting in office and they just signing any damn thing now, man. Seriously. Laws are changing. And the law, and you got to understand, the more and the more and the more and the more months and years pass by, more and more laws are going to change. That's right. And you got to understand, let me tell you another reason why this bill is going to be signed. Got to understand this. They already know that they can't stop crime from happening. They know that. They tried everything they can to stop crime from happening and crime still is happening. They have tried everything they can to stop women from being raped and murdered. That's still happening. They have tried everything they can to stop people from being murdered and kidnapped. That's still happening. They have tried all kind of stuff, y'all, to stop crime from happening. And guess what? The crime is not going to stop because people are fucking psychopaths down here. Criminals don't give a shit about your walk with God. Criminals don't give a shit about your relationship with God. Criminals don't give a shit about what church you attend and who your fucking pastor is. Criminals don't give a shit about that. Criminals don't give a shit about how much money you make and, and what's going on with your damn life. Criminals don't give a shit if you happily married or not. Their fucking job is to kill your ass and do you dirty. And I'm cussing like this because... Because this is the truth. And excuse my language, people. But this is reality. Criminals don't care about your, your scripture quoting ass. Wake the fuck up. And I gotta say it in, because it's the truth. Okay? I'm giving you reality. Criminals do not give a shit about your scripture quoting ass. So you might as well stop quoting scriptures. Because if you quote that shit in front of a criminal, he still will kill your fucking ass. And you gotta understand, the government... It's, it's realizing that they can't stop crime. So since they can't stop it, and since crime will never stop, they're going to sign that bill and make that shit legal for a couple days. Every year, I guarantee it. And let me tell you something else that's going to happen. What's going to happen is, certain states is probably going to do it first. That's what's going to probably happen. Certain cities and states is probably going to do it first, to whereas, to whereas you may get a state like New York to where... They may make crime legal in New York first. Then L.A. might do it. Then Canada might do it. Then Kentucky might do it. You know what I'm saying? Then Chicago might do it. That's what's going to happen. Then New Orleans might do it. Then Texas might do it. That's probably what's going to happen. One state is going to probably do it first. And then other states going to follow. The reason why? Because they're going to look at how much money they, they, they making off this. Think about it. They're going to make a lot of money. All them dead bodies. All them funerals. The cemetery going to make a killing. Okay? You got to understand that. And when they do this, more weapons are going to be sold. People going to fuck around and be buying more hammers, more knives, more stabbing weapons. That's right. That's right. People, and then, then look, people on the street going to make a bunch of money with them illegal guns. People just going to be buying a bunch of more guns off the street. So you got to think about the money that is going to generate. Think about how think about how much money funerals will make if they sign that bill. Think about it. Funerals will make millions, millions and millions and millions of dollars because you got more dead bodies. Think about the hospitals, how much money they'll make because you're going to have a bunch of people injured, raped, terrorized so think about how much money the government will make off this kind of stuff if they sign that bill just think about it think about it man if they sign that bill think about how much money they would make they would make billions off this shit and then it'll get a bunch of views and attention and remember y'all that's how america operates america operates off of money and views and attention 
If it's generating money, they gonna roll with it. If it's generating views, they gonna roll with it. If it's generating attention, they gonna roll with it. That's right, man. And remember, y'all, America, our our U.S. government, they already know people are fucking crazy. They know that. They know people are psychopaths. Anytime you walk into a movie theater with a fucking axe and 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 semi-automatic rifle shooting at people for no reason, you fucking crazy. All of this is happening in America. Anytime you walk into a school and you shooting at at, at at children in the elementary school, you fucking crazy. Anytime you can stab a woman up to death thirty something times, you fucking crazy. And see, our government they already know they can't stop that from happening. They can't stop crime. They can't stop crime, y'all. They can't stop it. And uh, and let me tell you something. I don't care how much you all pray out there and you pray your prayers and you can quote all the scriptures. You can't stop crime. You can't stop it. You can talk all that shit about how no weapon formed against you shall prosper. You can't stop crime. You can't stop crime. Let's be real. Can you stop crime? Crime is happening every day. Criminals don't care about your walk with God. Criminals don't care about you quoting scriptures. You, you can quote all the scriptures and you can say you this and you can say you that and you can say you have faith and all that stuff. You still can't stop crime from happening. That's right. Because tomorrow, more people going to die. People die every day, y'all. Millions of people in America die a day. Millions of them. They die from diseases. They die from murder homicides. They die from stabbings. They die from being poisoned. They die every day. So you can't stop this from happening. Okay? Our U.S. government already know they can't stop the crime. So eventually, they're going to have to sign that bill. They're going to have to, man. They're going to have to make it legal, man. They're going to have to make crime legal. I'm telling y'all, man, what's to come. I'm telling y'all, man. And some y'all, and some, some some cities and states probably going to jump on this. That's right. All crime legal for a week or some shit. That shit, that shit going to be crazy, man. This is the future of America. Remember, y'all, Satan controls the U.S., not God. Remember, Satan controls the U.S. Come on, man. That's, I, I'm, telling, I'm telling you facts. Satan controls America, not God. Satan controls America, okay? His kingdom rules America. Come on, man. I'm keeping it real with you. You can go to church all you want, and you can listen to preachers all you want, and you can let preachers lie to you all you want. The kingdom of darkness controls the U.S., not the kingdom of God. If the kingdom of God was controlling the U.S., all this bad shit wouldn't be happening. Let me repeat that. Take notes and write it down. If the kingdom of God was really controlling the U.S., all this evil shit wouldn't be happening. Don't play with me. Don't play with me, man, because I'm giving you facts. I don't want to debate with you stupid motherfuckers out there because I know what world I'm living in. The kingdom of darkness controls America. Look at all the haters we have in America. Look at all the jealousy we have in America. Look at all the bad shit that happens in America. Looks like to me, that's the kingdom of darkness, right? The kingdom of darkness represents hate, jealousy, envy, murder, rape, strife, kidnapping, and so on. The kingdom of darkness controls all that shit, and the kingdom of darkness represents that. That's, that's your America. That's your America. The kingdom of God do not control America. Come on, man. I wish it did, but that will never happen. Why that will never happen, Tiario? Why the kingdom of God can't control America? Because no one wants to follow God. No one wants to get in a purpose. Come on, man. That's why. That's why. And when you have a bunch of people, y'all, who just want to do them, you are basically entertaining the kingdom of darkness. You're not helping God. Let me repeat that. When you don't want to get in your purpose, you are basically helping Satan control the earth. I'm going to say it again. When you don't want to get in your purpose, you are basically helping Satan control the earth. Because in order for Satan to control the earth, he needs stupid assholes like you to keep doing what you're doing. I can do that. I can turn that into a message by itself. Because that's true. This bill will be signed. And for all of you all who have not seen the movie The Purge, go check it out, man. Watch it. You might can look at it on YouTube. You buy the DVD. It's real. That bill will be signed in years to come. It's coming, man. It's coming. That that's prophecy. That's prophetic right there. God is showing you in that movie what your government is gonna do, man. Because they can't stop crime, so they're gonna have to make it legal. 
I'm telling you, man, this is real. And I got to say this right quick, man. For all of you people, man, who are against self-defense, I feel bad for you. Y'all you, going to get raped, murdered, tortured to death. Y'all going to be finished. But see, ain't, ain't none of that shit going to happen to me because I'm bold already. I'm, all, I'm already crazy. You, you're not fucking with Tiario. I will shoot you down. <laughs> you're not playing with me. You're not running up on me with that shit. That, that'll never happen to me because I know how to handle myself. I'm fully trained in shooting guns. I know how to shoot them guns very well, man. I'm bold for that. And plus, I, I got bulletproof vests. So that ain't going to happen to me. But y'all out there, but y'all, all you people out there who are against gun rights and all that stuff, man, I feel bad for y'all, man. Y'all going to be done. Y'all going to be done. Sick motherfuckers kicking in your door, raping you, doing you dirty. Man, man, man. And I had to do this message, man, to warn you all, man. This is real. Take this serious, okay? Take this serious. Stop hating on me and stop going against self-defense. Take this serious, man. Support self-defense. Support it. Because let me tell you something. Criminals don't care about your Bible. They, they'll rape you. If you got 10 Bibles in your house, they still going to rape you, murder you, and slaughter you. Take this serious, man. Support self-defense, man. Get into gun rights, okay? Stop going against self-defense and get into it because you're going to need it, man, when they sign that damn bill in years to come. I'm serious, man. This ain't a joke. Y'all think this is a game? Look at your government. Look at all of the bills that they have already signed. So you know, so you know what they're talking about in the meetings. Passing that bill of making crime legal. You know they're talking about that shit. You know they're in the meetings talking about that. Come on, man. I know they in the meetings talking about that. That's common sense, man. If, if you took prayer out the schools, if you made weed legal, if you legalized marijuana, if, if you legalized gay marriages in 50 states, I, I already know what y'all about to do next. Let's make crime legal. Sign that bill. I'm telling you, man. Chill. Yo, T-R-E-O. Woo. For Jesus, I'm the last dime. You will never see another like me, and you will never see another like me. I'm the last dime for Jesus. I'm the last dime. You will never see another like me, and you will never see another like me. I'm a real legend, I'm a legend for Christ You hang around me, you gon' know about that spirit life I don't need a mega church to speak the truth I'm real hardcore, cause this is what I do The devil's scared of me, Lucifer bitch I'm not a pagan Christian, so you can catch this I don't give a damn how nobody feels I'm going all out and Satan's people getting killed You a hypocrite, you a false prophet You in Christianity, you need to stop it I'm catching out devils, I'm on a different level, I bury demons, so go get the shovel, you a pagan, that's why you hatin', you a stalker, just like Satan, run up on me, I'm shooting bullets in you, I walk in the fist, I wish you wanna do, I'm the last dime for Jesus, I'm the last dime, you will never see another like me, and you will never see another like me, I'm the last dime for Jesus I'm the last dime You will never see another like me And you will never see another like me You wouldn't last a week in my shoes The church is cursed, they make their own rules I feel God to the fullest, this is not a game Christian rappers, I say they all lame I know Jesus, I mean a real Jesus Not the pagan Jesus, the street Jesus For you pagan Christians you straight loss, you satanic rappers, you're not a boss You wanna be a gangster, you're not the mob Ain't no my haters and stalkers, go get a job Get out my business, cause I'm not finished I make YouTube pay me cause I'm about my business I'm a hustler for Jesus, I make moves I'm a star for Christ, you saw me on the news Saving many souls, this straight real I got all of this for cracking with no deal I'm the last dime for Jesus I'm the last dime You will never see another like me And you will never see another like me I'm the last dime for Jesus I'm the last dime You 
will never see another like me. Like me. And you will never see another like me. Last down for Jesus, bro. So you know what? It's self-defense against Satan's people. It's self-defense against Satan's kingdom. And that's how we going out.